Welcome to examples of using the properties of equilateral triangles to determine information about triangles. So here we want to determine the value of x. First thing we should notice is that we have an equilateral triangle, meaning the three sides are congruent. And from the equilateral triangle theorem, we know that if the triangle is equilateral, it's also equiangular, which means each of these angles are congruent and therefore have the same measure. So if we know that the sum of the interior angles of any triangle is equal to 180 degrees, well, if we know the angles are congruent, that means we can just divide this by three to determine the measure of each angle. 180 degrees divided by three is going to give us 60 degrees for each of these interior angles. So now we can determine the value of x. We're going to have 4x minus 8 equals 60. So now we'll add 8 to both sides of the equation. So 4x equals 68. Now we'll divide both sides by 4 to determine the value of x. So we have x equals 17. Let's look at another example. Here we want to determine the value of x and the value of y. Let's go and start with the value of y since it's very similar to the last problem. Again, we have an equilateral triangle, which means it's also equiangular. So each of the angles must have a measure of 60 degrees. So 5y plus 2 must equal 60. So we'll subtract 2 on both sides. That'll give us 5y equals 58. Divide both sides by 5. This isn't going to come out quite as nice as the previous example. 58 divided by 5 This will be 11 and 3 fifths, or as a decimal, it would be 11.6. Now let's talk about determining the value of x. Now to determine the value of x, since all of the sides have the same length, if this side has a length of 41, this side over here must also have a length of 41. So the equation to determine the value of x would be 2x plus 29 equals 41. And now we have our basic two-step equation. Again, we'll subtract 29 on both sides. So we'll have 2x on the left. 41 minus 29, that's going to give us 12. Divide both sides by 2. So x equals 6. So we had x equals 6 and y equals 11 and 3 fifths. I hope you found these examples helpful.